All right, guys, today's the day. I'm going to do the Lime Crime review. I'm not looking forward to this one just because I hate Lime Crime so much. I did trial this color out to see what the color looked like on me, and I did notice that the staying power of this was a bit different than the staying power of my original one, this really, really old one that I bought years ago, <laughs> a couple of years ago. Um, this one, as you can see in my Don't Buy Lime, Lime Crime video, I could just put on and wipe right off. This one was a bit more like kiss proof lipstick, but it still was able to be wiped off. But since I'm doing comparison videos, we'll just see how it goes with the other ones and uh, I'll let you guys know. So again, I'd just like to state that this was sent to me by Emily Boo uh, with a shirt that I bought from her. And she sent me some makeup that she doesn't use and this color, she didn't like it on herself. It's Jinx. And um, so, of course, I'm going to use it because it was sent to me. I'm not going to, I'm not wasteful like that. And I love makeup. I love lipsticks. However, I won't be buying Lime Crime any anymore because I really disagree with the way that Doe runs her business and how she is as a person. I think she's highly unprofessional and she doesn't deserve your or my or anybody else's business, but that's neither here nor there. I don't endorse or support Lime Crime. This is just a video because I promised a video. So today I'm going to use this purple mulberry or whatever uh, lip liner from <clears throat> Milani because it's a purple lipstick. This is actually a lip liner and I just usually use it um, on my eyes because it gives a really nice smudge effect. So I'll be using it for its proper usage today. I think it's the first time I think this is a bit darker than the actual lipstick, a bit more purple. The actual lipstick isn't quite a purple. It's it's like a brownie purple. I don't know. You'll see it in a second. Uh, I guess I'll zoom in like I did with the other one. Sorry about that. All right. My lips aren't very straight because my jaw is crooked and my lips are just blue. But I do my best. So here's the Lime Crime and Jinx. I always do it upside down. There you go. And so this is just your normal wand. Scrape off the excess like I did with the other ones. And we'll see what the coverage is like. Yeah, the coverage on that was not so great. I had to go over it a few times, rotate the wand to get the other side because it ran out of steam. On the plus side, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> it looks like chocolate and it smells like chocolate. So um, I can already feel it's not, it's not really dry. And look at that. So I'll zoom out again now. No, 
about that much. Okay, so this is the color. It's not even very purple. Uh, I think I would definitely wear this with another color as well because the purple on its own is quite unremarkable. It's not purple. It's not dark. It's not brown. It's not black. It's just kind of Ugh. it's it's a very weird color but it would work well with something else and it smells good last night it smelled like jelly beans and today I smell like chocolate so my hands I'm gonna use this finger still coming off not as much as before it's slowly drying uh, so it is still kind of patchy you can even see it there. I think it would need another heavy wand coat to get it non-patchy. And my lips aren't picked today. My lips, I actually let them heal a bit. So it's not, it's not my lips doing it. And I already know how it is when you put another coat on. It takes the other coat off, but I'll, I'll do that later. So I'll check back after I eat and everything and we'll see how this goes. All right, here is my bedtime after eating check-in. You can already see this did not fare well as I knew it wouldn't. Um, let's see. It's really patchy <laughs> all over. Um, here's my fingers. Uh, I got lipstick on it because I just touched it. Um, still coming off of my hands coming off of my drinking none there inside so next step is to see how well it is with the second layer I'll do it on half like I did on the other ones wipe off the excess I love the yummy chocolate smell though and I don't even like chocolate. So, uh, that went on very, not very well. Uh, like, you could see chunks there. It's trying to take it's like cracking the lipstick underneath it trying to take it with it um, still patchy it doesn't even look all that great even though I've just touched it up no so um yeah just half and half damn it I forgot to take a photo I was gonna take a photo but I totally forgot but you can see even touching it up it's still not that great you can still see through it and this side it's not all that great I'm gonna actually try to wipe it off and see how good that goes because um, this isn't this is not good at all I really don't like it um, definitely rates near zero for me for all the hype about the product and the packaging which isn't all that special the lipstick sucks and this one's miles better than the other lime crime that I have and it's still not all that great I'm gonna actually go and take a picture on my phone real quick and then I'm gonna wipe it off alright so I've taken a photo let me see if how easily the stuff comes off the other one came off quite easily I think this one will be a bit harder but I think overall it'll still be quite easy to wipe off I'm not pushing down at all by the way I'm just gliding my finger across my mouth so you know yeah kiss proof
this double layer is a bit harder to come off. You can see where the double layer was. You can see it's kind of trying to cling because it's two layers, but it's not exactly hard to come off. Now I'll wipe a bit harder. So, a little bit of a tough wipe and this kiss proof is gone. So, yeah, normally when I wear Lime Crime, I put this over it. This is, I've shown this before. Um, God, I really need a new camera. It's this stuff. Anyway, lipstick sealer, and this here, you put it on. I really like the way this feels. As a person that loves picking their lips, I love the way this feels because it um, it kind of burns and tingles, makes your lips kind of like poof out for a little bit. But you put it on and it makes your lipstick kiss proof or as kiss proof as it can, longer lasting. This was no match for a simple dry tissue. Very disappointed. I'm glad I didn't buy it. Sorry, Emily. I will still wear it because like I said, otherwise it's just wasteful and rude. So I'll still wear it. I'll just mix it up with something that way to me it's wearable. Um, better color and everything like that. And uh, there's always photo opportunities. So I'm going to put the rest of my lipsticks away. Next one and last one is going to be Max Factor, the one I brought from the States. Like I said, this is shade 105 and this is shade 660. I don't use 105 because it's a grosser color. I use this one here. Yeah, 660. And this is a bright and beautiful red. Very close to the MAC red and it lasts a long time. This is so hard to get off, like so hard to get off. And I had forgotten all about it because I tuck away my American makeup in places never to be found again because I don't want to use them because then I'll never find them again. So uh, it's bedtime for me now. And that was my review. Uh, so far, you can probably guess the order. I only have three lipsticks. Jeffree Star is number one. Pretty Zombie is number two. Lime Crime is number three. When I do this one, I'm not quite sure how it'll match. I don't know what'll be first, Jeffree Star or Max Factor. So that'll be quite interesting to remind myself and go through the whole test with Max Factor that I, I did with Jeffree Star and the other ones. But we will see who comes out on top and who, we already know who's last. Lime Crime is going to be last regardless because they suck in all ways. But that's neither here nor there. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you shortly. Bye.